Yeah, I thought so. What part of road closed do you all not get? <laughs> I can't believe y'all did this. <laughs> Look at all the trucks we got down here. Somebody, <clears throat> somebody said, hey, follow me. We can get through this deep ass water. That's incredible. I'm shocked. I'm really, I'm really shocked. Uh, do I, I, you know, I don't see a sign up there saying, saying that you can't go through here. So I guess mm -hmm. it's not their fault. I'm going to back up. I'm going to go down to the road down here on the other side of this cable company. Okay, this is officially, this is the bayou. This is the end of my street right here. This is the street I live on. This is our cop. This is our chief of police lives here. I have never in all my 26 years of living here, I've never seen this water this high. And this is the bayou. I'm a, I am, oh, probably a couple miles from the bayou. What these are, they call them bar pits back in here. And eventually you can get in these bar pits and end up in the bayou. But what they are is just gravel pits that they've dug, you know, deep, deep trenches in. And uh, the bayou has backed all this water up here. So, <sighs> wow. Yeah, we are definitely, definitely stuck in this little town. And uh, you know, it's kind of, oh, wow. It's, it's, you know, three or four feet over the road down there. And uh, here's all the people that thought they could. Yeah. Sorry, dudes. You're not going to do it. <laughs> Too deep. I guess you're going to have to back up in the cable company there. All right. Let me go back down there and see what, what all they're going to do. This is those bar pits again. This probably doesn't mean anything to people who don't know what we're looking at, but when you've lived here a lifetime and you've never seen water backed up this high, I've never seen water this high ever. Just uh, incredible. And it's, you know, okay, uh, this is uphill. So I, my house is probably about eight feet above where I am right now. I don't, really don't believe I've got anything to worry about. But if I were these people on the lower end, like here and here, I might be a little bit concerned because we got two more days of this rain coming. No, I'm not wearing my seatbelt. All right, this is where the big trucks were turned down here. And uh, man, I'll tell you what, if, if our parish does not have uh, road close signs up there, then they're really screwing up. Maybe we ran out of road close signs or something. Well, I think those guys are gonna try to make it through the water. thing is that's not even the deep part the deep part is further down it's several feet and I'll tell you what all morning long I've been watching these people drive down there and turn around <laughs> so uh, I wish I had my other camera I could zoom in and see exactly what they're doing And uh, I'm looking up there, and I absolutely do not see a sign that says road closed. So it's really kind of, uh, you can't blame these people for coming down here thinking they, you know, these people are, well, some of them may be kind of desperate, you know. Uh, you got people trying to get to work or get their son from school or, I mean, Rob, five acres in the bayou, had to have his son evacuated from his house last night. Uh, that's a, I, he'll probably tell that story, but... I won't tell it because that's a good story. 
he couldn't get back home and his ha and his son was home so he had to have him evacuated i believe by the sheriff's department so uh i'm gonna do what i did yesterday <laughs> let's just go back to the house and wait on all this to disappear okay no nothing more of any interest just lots and lots of rain lots and lots of water All right, we're almost home. I'll just show you my yard. It's not underwater, but it's uh, it'll be August before I can get out there with an ego mower. All right, there's part of my property, and you see over there, right there, the water. The water comes through my woods up here, across my property. It forms a little river right there. It goes underneath my fence and then down to the bayou. Only <laughs> it's not it's not going down to the bayou right now. Yeah, two more days of this. Oh, okay. That's all of my rain, rain stories. If anything interesting happens, I'll be sure to go record it. Huh? There's uh, like truck number six backing up out of here. Now we got our, uh, our chief of police is <laughs> stopping them all and making them back up because there's just no way you can get get through that water and I'll tell you what three of them come through our our little neighborhood here and uh, I know they tore up people's front yards probably took down signs oh there okay I didn't see him so that's like number seven him right there backing up so that's like and and the road is closed I called the town they said yeah we got closed signs up they went around them yes hello yes dear can you believe this? This is scary that the water door cheat has come this close to my house. This is at the end of our end of our road. Oh, <gasps> do you see the roots? Oh, look where that truck. Up. That's where that truck drove off. Oh, I can't believe he did not tip over. And this ditch right here is pretty you know, friggin' deep. I, I see the the wheels where he just oh my god missed the curve. He I, has no idea. How even the bus won't come down here yeah. because of this school night bus. Degree. And it's well, there's door cheat right I don't know there. If you can send all that, huh? Okay. I don't think you can see where that guy is driving through that water, and he hasn't even got to the deep part. I can't believe people are that stupid. Crazy. Okay, we have to, this is where we were yesterday and the water was several feet over the road. Well now, I called the town hall and they said that the water had subsided and you could go nowhere. And uh, the reason we're having to do this is because Lucy, Lucy Bell may have, have, have uh, ruptured an anal plan. Boy, that went down fast, huh? It was up in his parking lot. Here's, here's the lady who fired me. Oh, her driveway. All her bridges tore up. Yeah. And then here's a boat. She got a boat right there. Look at all the crap stuck in that fence. Did you see that? Wow. I did. Yeah, I do, but I hope her horses are okay. Yeah. I don't see her horses. Look, look at this. Did that, did that get washed up or did that fall? That just got washed up. Yeah. Jeez. Oh, they're moving the horses down. Oh, they are. Okay. Yeah, I see them. I see them with a the horse trailer down there. And here's where the water came from. This is a tiny little bayou. I mean, 10 foot wide. Here, here and, uh, it is, right here. This yeah. is the bayou that flooded. That's how far this how bayou far that water. Went. Yeah, just to grow that skinny little bayou. It's never got more than 10 or 12 foot of water in it. Okay, that's it. We're headed to the vet. Okay. We are 
Brad says we're two miles from Dorcheat, but I don't, I don't know if it's that far. Absolutely positive. Well, we're two, miles two, two miles from Dorcheat, and there's Dorcheat right there at the end of my end of our road. Okay, here's Dorcheat, right here. Has come up this far, and here is the road that I live on right here. The end of our end of our street right here, and here's Dorcheat. And we are at two least miles. ten feet higher than this right here. Yeah. As, this is incredible that that water is right here. And this is Jeremy's uh, yard. And then you go up this up the street. So, it ain't going to get to us. 